in this video we take a look at how to create a church banner for a 31st crossover service in photoshop and this is coming up <laughs> hello everybody and welcome to the channel innocent here and on this channel we do photoshop tutorials and tech videos if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing so down in the description will be a link to download all the resources that i'll be using in this tutorial you can download them and then follow the process if you are done and you want to send it to me to check it out you can send it to me on instagram and i'll check it out over there now let's get into photoshop and let's get started now right into the magic world of photoshop the first thing we are going to do is we're going to create a new document now this is going to be a banner you can also use this as a sticker i originally designed this as a sticker so you can actually use this as a sticker but then if you want to of course use it as a banner that is of course fine so if you want to create a sticker or something like an envelope size you can go for the dl size over here when you go to print and then you go right down here you find the dl envelope dl and then you're going to hit on create mind you i'm designing this in photoshop 2021 so if you are using any version lesser it's fine you can you can still make use of it and kindly excuse my voice because i'm not really feeling well now what we're going to do next is we have this in the portrait so we go to image and then we go to image rotation and then we can set this to 90 clockwise to get it on the landscape mode because that is how we want to use this one first things first we're going to set up the background so the first thing we need to do is we go to the layer adjustment over here and we are going to add a gradient so you choose your gradient over here go to the gradient bar and we're going to scroll down to the gradient that we're going to use if you want to use any one of these it is fine but then if you want to use the the same thing that i used that is also going to be fine now mind you that the background is going to be inspired by a lot of things in this case it is inspired by the color of the attire of the subject so if you introduce the subject you are pretty much going to understand the concept so now what you need to do is you go ahead and you click ok from here and then we are going to reverse this to the other side of course all right so we're going to change the style over here to radial to so that we have this one in the middle and we are going to change the scale here to 122 now we want to drag this shiny part to the right side a little bit because that is where we are going to place our subject so once you have your gradient open here you're going to place your keza right over here and then you can drag it on top right there so that is where we are going to place our subjects now once you're done with this you go ahead and then you can click ok from here the next thing we want to do is we want to add the backgrounds so we go to file place embedded and then we are going straight into the documents that we are using or the files that we are using mind you a link to download them will be in the description so we are going to select the first one right over here we double click on that and then it opens up in photoshop for us and then we can drag and open it up like this and then we double click on it we right click and then we can rasterize the layer we go to the blending mode over here and then we can set this to soft light so you can press ctrl t to open this one up a little more like that and then we can click ok from here now once we're done we're going to add a layer max to this and then we choose our brush tool make sure that it is bigger enough right click on it and then we are going to set the hardness to zero percent you make sure that your foreground color also is black like that and then you are going to brush off the very edges of this one so something like that now after you're done with this if it feels like it is too big you can press ctrl t of course and then you can transform it out over here this is where we're going to place the test so of course it is fine if it is a little bit bigger like that we will then go ahead into the resource that we are using again and then we bring in the second background so this is going to be the second background and for that one we are going to place it right on top here like that and then we can drag it to this very side we right click on it and then we can rasterize that as well go to the blend mode and then we are going to set that also into soft light so we press ctrl t and then we can open it up some more like that and then we can add our layer mask to it so the same process we are going to brush off the edges 
so that it smoothens and blends in with the background like that. Now, once we have this in place, we can then go ahead and go to the layer adjustment again, and then we can add a curves to it because this seems like a little bit brighter for us. So we are going to add some curves to it, and then we will drag the curves a little bit down like that. So something like this, and we are going to get rid of this one. Now this looks very fine for us. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to introduce a subject. So we go to file and place embedded. I've already taken off the background. So we introduced the pasta for the day. And if you've been watching the channel for a couple of times, you know that I've been using this by pasta for way so many times. All right. So we place the pasta right over there and then we can position it very nicely. And just like I mentioned earlier on, the background was inspired by the attire he's wearing. So we can then take time to reposition the backgrounds over here. And I think this looks way better now. Now, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to add a test and then everything that we are supposed to add. So right on top of this one, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a rectangle over here so I'll go for my rectangle and I'm going to create a very small rectangle over here like that and then I'm going to change the color to white so I'll double click on the layer thumbnail and then I'm going to change the color to white right over here now inside of this rectangle we go to file place embedded and then we are going to add the logo so we double click on the logo and then it is going to open up over here for us so this logo is going right in here so you press ctrl t and then you transform it nicely like that and then you can place it right over here double click on that and you are done now the next thing we do is we select the rounded rectangle over here create a very nice rounded rectangle like this and we make sure that it is also white so we double click on the layer thumbnail over here and then we change the color to white and then we can right click on the rounded rectangle and rasterize the layer you go for the rectangular marquee tool over here make a selection right there and then we can delete it now we can bring this one right onto the edge of the first rectangle that we created and then we can press ctrl t to transform it so that it fits right onto the edge of the first rectangle that we created so something like that now on top of this we are going to add a test so we go to the test that we've written right over here and then we are going to have the living christ foundation so the name of the church basically so we're going to copy that and then we are going to choose a font called poppins and then we can paste the test right over here select all the tests and then we are going to choose the medium size over here and we are going to choose this particular background or this particular color and then we can position it right over here you press ctrl t and then you resize it until it fits right into the rounded rectangle that we created so something like this is going to be fine or better still let's just choose the bold right over here semi bold will be fine and we are going to select from the test here to the rectangle that we created and we are going to group that and we're going to call it heading so after that, we can press Ctrl T to nicely transform it like this to make it a little bit smaller so that it wouldn't be way oversized. And that is going to be the heading. The next thing we're going to add is going to be the main title. So we are going to first copy the crossover right over here, paste that right over here. So we select all of it and then we are going to increase the size and then we select the test color. So we are going to give it a color right over here. Let's choose a color from this side. I think this looks way better because we want it to complement the color of the sub, the color of the attire of the subject. Okay, does that even make sense? All right. So once we have it over here, we can actually position this onto this side so that we can have space for this one. So once we have it over here, we can open it up a little bit more. And then we are going to zoom in some more right from here select the ellipse tool and then we are going to create a very nice ellipse over here so something like that and then we can take time to position it to this very side so something like this and we are going to give it a color the same as 
the one that we use for the crossover so something like this and then it will be a complete circle on its own so inside of this one we are going to type in 31st so 31st is going to be here and we are going to select that change the color to this background right over here click ok and then we are going to reduce the size a little bit like that and now the next thing we want to do is we want to add the main heading or the team so the first thing that we're going to add is called breaking so breaking over here and then we're going to select that paste it right over here and the font type that we're going to use is called shutter box shutter box right over here now link to all the fonts that i'll be using will be in the description so you can download them as well so we're going to open that a little bit like this and we're going to right click on it go to the blending options right over here and we are going to add a gradient overlay to it so select the gradient over here we go to the gradient box and we drag down this is the gradient that we are going to use all right so once you have this you click ok and then you are good to go now we're going to make a duplicate of this drag it right underneath of this one and we are going to select the rest of the test but this time around we're not going to use shutterbox we're going to use a font called bearbox no and we are going to use the bold one we go to the toggle character over here and we make sure that it is open up a little bit like this now we want to make sure that the top here is in the same line with the bottom so we're going to select the top here alone and then we are going to increase the font over there right like that so that it will be on the same almost on the same line and then we can take time to position it to be on the same line with that of the breaking so it will breaking the part of your destiny so once we have it like this i think we are good to go now i feel like we need to bring the heading here a little bit i don't know if this is weird but i i feel like it is not the alignment is not that great for me so we can select the port and then the breaking and then we can drag that also here a little bit i think this looks way better and let's select that of the 31st the ellipse and then the cross over here and try to close it up a little bit like that i think this looks way better so something like this would do and once we have this we are going to add the scripture to it so we go into the test and we have psalm 2 verse 9 and we're going to select that also so for that we're going to need a rounded rectangle so we go to the rounded rectangle over here and we are going to create a very simple small nice rounded rectangle like that so we're going to right click on it go to the blending options and add a gradient overlay to it now we are going to use the same gradient we used for the background for this one as well so we click ok from here and then ok from here as well and then we are going to add a test to it so some 2 verse 9 and we are going to change the color to white over here and we are going to drag it right into this particular rounded rectangle that we just created so you press ctrl t to transform that very nice like that so you hit enter and then i think we are good with this one the next thing we're going to do is right underneath of the image here we're going to select the image right underneath of that we are going to select our rectangle and create a white rectangle over there so something very simple like that and we're going to change the color to white so a white rectangle would do and we bring it right here at the very bottom like that and we are going to create one more rectangle over here like that so something very simple and small we can take time to position it right over here and i think we need to actually close up these ones okay, so starting from the sum 2 verse 9 to the breaking we're going to select all of that and try to close it up a little bit so that we have enough space for the bottom so for this rectangle we're going to select or give it a color from this point so something let's go down a little bit like that so we're going to give it a color like that so i think this color would do right over there and then we can press ctrl t to transform it a little bit to be smaller like that so once we have that we are going to make a duplicate one more duplicate 
press ctrl t to transform it and we're going to change that color that rectangle also to white and then we can take time to transform it a little bit but it has to stay right inside of the same rectangle so we are going to bring it right over here press ctrl t to transform it some more like that and inside of this rectangle we're going to add the rest of the information so it is going to be 9 pm that is going to be the time so you select your test right over here and we are going to paste it now let's go back to using poppins and we're going to use the semi bold over here the color is going to remain the same color and then we can drag it inside of this particular rectangle that we created so you transform it to fit right inside a rectangle and the last one we're going to do is going to copy the test containing the name of the church and then we can bring that also over here so we can duplicate this test right over here drag it to the very side and then we are going to edit that into this particular test give it a color white and then we can click ok from here now we need to close things up over here so something like that we have to just make sure that everything fits into the rectangle that we created so you press ctrl t and then you can transform this one out like that into the rectangle that you just created so something like this and then you take your time to position it now if we really come a long way the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some couple of elements so we go to the resource and we have a couple of things over here so we have this broken pot over here i think let me use this one we're going to unlock this one choose the magic one tool and then we are going to make a selection and delete it we don't want this side as well so we delete all the parts that we don't want we we can then go ahead and make a selection from that part so you take your time to do that very neatly and then you can make a duplicate and drag it into the work that we are doing so right over here now let's zoom in some more you see that there are some things we don't really need over there so we can use the eraser to get rid of that very neatly and nicely right over there so we press ctrl t to transform that a little bit because we are dealing with broken or breaking pots we can actually make use of some broken pots over here or don't you think so so we can actually make one more duplicate and drag it over here like that and then we can make one more duplicate and drag it over here but this is going to be transformed to be something way smaller like that and pretty much that is going to be it for this one the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add some shiny or some lens flare to this to make the whole thing way brighter so right on top of this breaking all of these ones so right on top of these ones we're going to add a lens flare so we go to file and then the place embedded and we are going to add our lens flare right over here so we can position it over here we can open it up some more like that and then we double click on it now go to the blend options and change it to screen right over there and then you can drag it to this very side let's right click and then rasterize this layer go to filter and then we go to blur and then the gaussian blur over here and then we can blur it out some more like that so something like this would do and then you can press ctrl t and open it up some more now mind you the more you open it the brighter it becomes so you can open it up way bigger like this and then we can position it right over here now we want to make one more duplicate and, and position it right underneath of the pasta so we make one duplicate over here and then we can drag it to this very side but we want it underneath of the pastas picture so we can drag it underneath of the pastas picture right over there okay and then you can press ctrl t and then open it up some more so that it becomes way bigger like that so we can open it up some more like that and right over there is going to be very fine now we can go back to the curves that we added and then we can drag it way beneath or way below like this so that it can make a lot of sense and then you can see all that we added over here and for the pots that we added this one in particular we can make a duplicate so that it shows up some more so we press ctrl j to make one more duplicate like that so that it shows up some more and that is pretty much it the last thing we do is we're going to add the name of the pasta over here so 
now like i stated in the very beginning of this video i'm not really feeling well that is why i had to rush through this video but i hope you gain some value out of this this can be used as a banner this can be used as a sticker you can print this out and give it out to your church members or if you are doing a sticker for a client you can make some reference from this one let me know in the comment section if this video was helpful and if it was a subscribe to the channel would be so very much appreciated thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye